Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2015 Jeep Cherokee Limited in white. Now, this one is a four-wheel drive model and it has a lot of features. So let's quickly look at the outside. We've got the polished aluminum wheels, nice and shiny. And it's real aluminum finish. There's no plastic there. And it does have the proximity key. And one of the features is a remote start, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Now this one has a 3.2 liter V6, so you got a little, got some decent power there, and as well as some good gas mileage. I think it's 28 on the highway, which is not bad for a vehicle that's four wheel drive and has a pretty good amount of power. It's um, I think it's 250 horsepower somewhere in there. Don't quote me on that. But uh, that's off the top of my head. But anyways, let's go ahead and open it up. Open up the tailgate with the power lift gate. Using the key. You see it's got the uh, pretty good amount of space back here. Now this bar, they've got all kinds of neat things that they do with that bar. It's a removable bar. Um, they hang... Um, grocery bag hangers on it there's things you can strap to it um, check out the different accessories it's kind of neat I have to do a video one day when I actually have some accessories to show you but here's the right under here is storage container part but also under here is a spare tire some of these vehicles do not have a spare tire so just make sure that if you want a spare tire make sure it has it before you buy it or have it added to it does have the uh, has a subwoofer here for the premium sound system these back seats do fold down the front seats fold down all this folds down uh, of course the driver's seat doesn't fold down all the way because you're gonna be driving it but uh, I think it's like eight or nine feet all the way from the back to the front if you really fold everything down and you need to put something long in the in the vehicle look around here now to close it I can use the key or I can just push this button close the lift gate it's gonna beep at me and tell me to get out of the way and then I just get out of the way now back here while I'm back here I just want to point out there is the the lens for the backup camera which we'll check that out has the bright exhaust tips here in the back and quiz time do you know what this is that little place if you don't know check it out I got a video on it it's called what is this and um, has a picture of you know something like that on, a, on another vehicle on a dart I think and I explained what that is but in the meantime if you don't know I'm gonna burn up your curiosity so it does have the proximity key so I'm gonna just go ahead and put the key in my pocket now won't need it and I can just walk up to the door, put my hand here, and the door's unlock. I can relock it by pushing this button. But to unlock it, just put my hand there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start back here. Here's the inside of the back door. We've got like a wood grain, ebony wood grain there. Bottle holder. Nice quality, everything's soft. There's no hard plastic here, so everything's soft perforated leather seats and um, and these seats actually can slide forward and back a little bit which is pretty neat for a back seat cup holders armrests you've got a AC adapter power outlet there these seats fold down using this little strap you just pull on it and gotta have two hands and I don't I'm holding the camera all right, let's see if this one will work. All right, that'll work. That'll fold down. The seat has to be up for a little bit more, but anyways, um, basically you can do that number if you got your other hand to grab this and then fold it down like so. Either way. got heated side mirrors 
here's the inside of the driver's door and you've got your bottle holder your speaker and all that cool stuff little storage pocket there as well as a handle door lock controls window controls, side mirror controls right here is your presets on your power seat you do have lumbar support as well on here and I really like the perforation on the back and the front it kind of gives you more of a breathing feel when you're sitting in the leather automatic headlights here okay I'm gonna go ahead and hop in nice and quiet on the inside now since I used remote start everything is turned off you see it's turned off now the air conditioner is on and so I'm gonna go ahead and push this button it turns everything on And this has a pretty cool feature of this. I'll show you what that is in a second. See that little button? Let me turn the, the AC vents away from the camera. Hopefully it won't interfere too much. But anyways, here's your, um, your steering wheel. Very comfortable vehicle. If you never sat in one and you're just remotely interested, just, just sit in one. If you're, if you're interested in a vehicle this, um, this style or this size, take the time go sit in one of these drive it around and it's a little bit different than probably what you're thinking it's very comfortable it's roomy and uh, drives really good too so and I'm not just saying that because I sell them it is it is surprising but anyways um, cruise control on that side uh, volume button on the back of the steering wheel change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel back here here's your menu buttons now right below the menu button before I go into that you you have your Bluetooth and your voice recognition buttons here so but once your phone's paired you can answer the phone hang up the phone you can push the buttons and say call somebody in your phone book and it'll call them voice recognition button is for calling people as well as changing to a certain station and um, you know just in certain settings now there's a whole booklet on the voice recognition system which you can kind of get familiar with uh, just through practice I guess you could say I will make a video soon I, I know I keep saying that but I would plan on making a video where I sit down with that book and we just kind of go through the whole thing and, and do all the different commands so just so you can get an idea uh, so you don't have to read the book you can just kind of watch the video and get an idea of what it's all about there's your windshield wipers and light controls now here's your menu and a little bit of a glare right now, so I'm gonna reposition this car. I'm gonna drive it, aim it somewhere else. All right, there we go. I think that's better. Now, there's your menu system, and using these buttons on the steering wheel, See, right now I'm in the screen setup, but I can scroll down, go into speedometer, which gives me a big digital speedometer. Scroll down again, vehicle info. Now, right now it's showing the tire pressure. Now you can notice the screen. This is a 2015, and it has nice graphics on the screen. Some of the vehicles don't have those nice graphics. Some of them just have like Atari looking graphics. But uh, it gives me the actual temp, the pressure on each tire. And I'm gonna scroll to the right, and it's going to give me temperatures and pressures and stuff that you know if I need to check out anything I'm interested in it scrolls back to there so now I'm going to scroll down in the fuel economy and um, right now I mean the vehicle doesn't have very many miles on it so it's uh, has 16 miles on it so it's a little bit it's not really going to give me much information there but it does have a we will go back to that it does have a real time while I'm driving uh, like a little meter there so it kind of gives you an idea of what you're doing in the current that second while you're driving how far you can drive with the current amount of gas that it has in it which is good to know now the stop start uh, this is something that the climate control has to be off and I made a video stop start uh, my first experience with stop start so basically when you're driving with the current with the climate control off 
and your seat belt buckled and you're going forward and when you stop it'll turn the engine off but then as soon as you start going the engine automatically just is automatically running again so it's pretty interesting but it, watch that video it's kind of neat it's supposed to save gas that's what the intention is so anyway there's your different um your little menu system it is customizable like say you see the temperature there and the compass to the right um, you can adjust those to have different things there like distance to empty and stuff now here's your up here we've got a little storage compartment but down here is your 8.4 uconnect system this is the AN which has the navigation system and um, let me peel this. All this vehicle just came in, so it hasn't been cleaned up or anything. So no problem taking that off. So there's your radio. It does have satellite radio and a one-year subscription when you buy a new one. Media. This is where you'll connect a, either um, play a CD, which I'll show you where the CD player is. It's kind of hidden. USB, US, uh, USB, two USBs, and auxiliary input. Bluetooth and SD card input. Lots of ways you can interact with this uh, system here. And uh, your inputs are down here and your CD player is in here. Talk about hidden. Controls. This is where you'll find your heated and ventilated seats. So I'm going to turn the ventilated seat on right now. You do have a heated steering wheel you have a auto dim rear view mirror this is where you find really useful settings too uh, like adjusting your your uh, clock and different things also like um, uh, audio bluetooth satellite auto on comfort that's like you want to have your uh, heated steering wheel or ventilated steering wheel uh, on when you do the remote start of course you want that that's part of the fun of having a remote start. All right, so that's controls. So let's go into climate. This is where you'll find your, your temperatures. You can adjust your temperature on the right and left. For driver and passenger, you can sync those if you want. You can adjust your fan speed and all that cool stuff. I'm gonna turn the fan down a little bit more. Navigation. We gotta accept a contract, I guess. I don't know. Now, uh, you can just view the map and look at there. It's got like a little vehicle there, and I think you can change it to color or whatever it looks like. And um, as you're driving, but anyway, there's your map. Now you can also go into uh, you can put in a particular address. Uh, different points of interest recent you can set your home address there any, any place where you're at you just hit home It'll tell you how to get home it's Cool stuff like that Phone this is where you pair your phone once you pair it you have your phone book recent calls you have a dial pad and uh, Your your favorites up there. You can redial redial and to call all that good stuff now You can mute it. You can also transfer the call back to your cell phone if you don't want to have a if you want to have a private conversation if you get other people in the vehicle apps this is where once you register um, with the Uconnect system you can have additional apps here Wi-Fi hotspot now one of the cool things before I go into that uh, let me go to all apps just to show you something see where it says via mobile uh, Pandora via mobile that's using your data from your cell phone so you just want to make sure that you have enough data and you don't go over or something, you know get extra charges for that um, so let's go back here travel link this is really cool you got fuel prices this is one of my favorites now you can let's say your shop you're in an area you're not familiar with and you need to find the nearest gas station or well, that shows you that sort it by distance now let's just say if you're really cheap and you want to sort it by price you go there you notice that uh, the distance the closest one is 322 a gallon and the cheapest one is two miles away, but it's 315, so it's a little bit, a little bit handy there. And of course, you can sort it by brand as well. Find that your favorite gas station, or if you have like a gas card, you need to use something like that. So that's a really cool feature. And then let's say you choose one right here. 
it tells you right where it is and you can call there once you pair your phone also you can go there hit go now and it'll take you to your navigation and it'll tell you how to exactly how to get there pretty cool movie listings sports weather I mean it's got pretty cool stuff um, now it doesn't have it's not exactly in your position it'll be like the nearest city or something like that but it can give you a general idea you got a current three to six hour five day and stuff like that but yeah lots of cool features in here there's I can go on for hours on this system um, it's got your temperature on the inside set outside temperature your compass clock all that cool stuff there's your four way flashers and um, this is where you turn your stop start start stop stop start stop whatever it's called off just in case you don't want the engine cutting off turn it back on you can turn that off there the light on is the off light so when the lights on that means it's off <laughs> default is on volume button tune button and then you've got your fan control you know your redundant buttons down here for your climate there's your inputs now it says it's a four-wheel drive vehicle it has your select train uh, terrain four-wheel drive so you can change it to snow sport sand mud whatever you want but um, the audio auto is automatically on so you just drive it around and if you start getting in a situation where you need four-wheel drive it'll kick in automatically now here's your shifter it's like a standard kind of shifter it is a nine speed transmission though and um, so I'm going to I just went in and put it in reverse now check out the clarity of that backup camera it seems like the 15s are just a little bit clearer maybe just my imagination but you notice you don't see the the trajectory lines that you see saw before but it is a clear picture it's slightly a uh, uh, wide angle lens um, but it just seems like you get a little bit more clarity as far as the colors it's not like HD resolution or anything but it is pretty neat so I'm going to put it back in park speaking of park there's your parking brake is an electronic one so you go like that and it cinches down electric parking brake turn it off your foot has to be on the brake and you just push it down cup holders are here little pen holder there armrests lifts up that's where I showed you where your CD player is you also have a power supply and a deep pocket there glove compartment that goes on for miles rear view mirror that's auto dim is where your 911 and assist is up here once you register your Uconnect system Microphones are on top for your for your Bluetooth system. You got lights, place to put your shades are here. Now it's rubberized, no foam in this one. Garage door controls are here. Visors have mirrors and lights. Same thing on that side. Tap lights up there. Hopefully you see that. You got airbags pretty much all around on the vehicle. All right, let's look at the engine. Oh yeah, got this little pocket here too. I forgot to tell you. Now I like vehicles that have this little footrest right there. So you can have a place to put your left foot while you're driving. It makes you feel more comfortable and less fatigued on long trips. All right. All right, here's the latch. And there's the engine. 3.2 liter V6 VVT. It does have a uh, insulated battery. And It's got the sideways mounted engine, sort of like a front wheel drive, but this is a four wheel drive system. Got a little Jeep symbol right there. Nice smooth running engine. Alright, if you have any questions, my name is Mike, and my phone number and email address will be in the description. And if I've missed out on anything, if I forgot to mention something, or Got something wrong let me know in the comments I'm trying to improve my videos as much as possible and um, so I, I need some input 
so if you can help me out with that i'd appreciate it and i'll see you next time